Hello dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. This is the newbie install guide and first steps guide for installing Navigraph and getting up and running with it. This will be for both Xbox and PC Microsoft Flight Sim Pilots. How you would first sign up with Navigraph, first steps there. And then, in something like the Vision Jet and Flying Here, available for both Xbox and PC, how you would get it up and running in the aircraft, and even things like having moving maps, which I'll be showing you how to do in this video, once again, for both Xbox and PC pilots. So this is a very newbie guide. I realise that a lot of people simply Navigraph, they would love to try it, but they're simply stuck on how to get up and running with it. So I hope this video will be of use to you. Listen, let's not dilly-dally. Let's get on with the video. So the very first steps to take is to head over to Navigraph.com. This will be linked down below in the description. Go over it. Go over to it on your PC, tablet, even on the Xbox itself, if you prefer. If you're playing on Xbox purely, go over to this. It may seem a little bit overwhelming when you get to this. You're not quite sure what it gives you and where to go from. This it does actually guide you through this. Anyway. Get started with these simple steps. Uh, but I'm going to guide you through this step by step. Some people may still be overwhelmed. There's a link to their YouTube channel. I'm going to link their YouTube channel down below in the description. They do some excellent videos and I'll come back on this later. You may be going through this thinking, well, it's a bit overwhelming. You've got our products there, which I'll come back to. Experiences, simulators. I'm just going through this quickly. Uh, as you may be as well, you may be clicking away thinking, well, it's a bit overwhelming, and it can be for some people. Supports Microsoft Flight Sim, of course, X-Plane 11, 12, and Prepared 3D. So all the major flight sims, we're concentrating on Microsoft Flight Sim. And you've got things like pricing, uh, which you do have some good deals here. I'll come back to these in a moment. Very first thing to do, if you're clicking around, first thing to do, and this is free, so you don't pay for this part, go to create an account, and then, you know, it should be self-explanatory, this one, first name, last name, your email address, alias, gives you a few things that, a few examples that you can have as an alias, just type your own thing in there, which I think I did, type your own alias in, and password. And I think you can do this continue with Google. If you've got a Google account or Apple or Microsoft account, you can do it from there. I think I just did it originally. It was a long time ago I did it. First name, last name, email, chose my own alias and password. Should be no problem there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly sign in because I've got an account and I'll be back in a moment. So once you've created your free account, so I've got an account as you can see there, JH, and I'm logged in. Once you've created it, you'll probably get to a page like this showing your subscription status. I've got the unlimited subscription. Many thanks to Navigraph for that. I'm an ambassador with Navigraph, and they've given me a yearly uh, subscription to them, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm very proud to be an ambassador with their products. Very renowned Navigraph. If you don't know about them, they've been around for many years. I won't go around my account page too much in case I show you something I shouldn't. I'll go back to the home page by clicking here once you've got your account set up go to pricing to get access to everything navigraphs includes all the charts and in sim itself some of the apps in sim which i'll be showing you later you've got to go with a monthly or yearly subscription you've got to go with either one this nine euros just over there comes in at just under eight pound for the month this is the better one I did a conversion with Google there, as you can see, 82 euros, I rounded it up, comes in at around 70 pound. So for this, for the year, you're getting a couple of months added 
from the monthly in fact if you go for the yearly that's going to cost you around 70 pound a year that's the cost of a high-end pmdg aircraft for example and you get in this for the whole year that's a great bargain a question people may ask what do you get with navigraph exactly what is it i'm really new to this hudson what is it well what's included on this pricing tab there it shows you what's included worldwide ifr and vfr chart coverage worldwide airport coverage 7000 airports navigation data you can read the rest of this yourself it's compatible with both x-plane and microsoft flight sim and prepared 3d source directly from jefferson these are the world leaders of aviation in the real world as well aviation the charts it's sourced directly from the horse's mouth as it were the best of the best updated arx cycle every 28 days as well this is what you're getting with it you're getting and this navigraph i believe it's the only one i've come across that does the worldwide coverage there's a couple of free things i'll link a video down be below navigraph versus the free options or things like chart fox you do get charts with chart fox but you don't get the worldwide coverage you do with navigraph and you don't get this updated rx cycle either keep that in mind and you get access to in sim apps as well which i'll be showing you later pretty much only navigraph gives you all this that you're seeing here this is why they're so well known and so popular in fact so there you go once you've created your free accounts go with either monthly or yearly subscription what you want to do then is go to the downloads tab now with navigraph charts i think i've got the cloud one installed so i just use it on my desktop pc when i'm in the air i'll have an icon showing where my aircraft is on the map and it will i can just see where i am along my route you can download it for android if you've got an android phone or tablet or apple you can download it for ios as well windows or mac like i said i've just got the cloud if you do download the charts program say you've got a tablet you're on xbox you've got a tablet or phone you're following your route flight so you download it on your tablet that includes i believe simlink as well so you don't need to download simlink i've got simlink downloaded because i'm using it through the uh, web browser here so i don't really have the charts program installed so i'll download simlink to allow me to allow my me to see my aircraft along my route only do this if you're doing similar to me you've not downloaded uh, it to windows or ios or android or mac then download simlink and that'll be really for pc users the only other thing that you need to download and this is for pc users is the navigraph hub once you've downloaded it you'll get a navigraph hub it'll be in your desktop icons down here at the bottom right there it is navigraph hub I've got it open here all these will be saying install when you first install it these top four especially are important you'll just have install 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 similar to what you have here this purple install i've not installed it to the 600 pmdg 737 600 just to show you what you'll be seeing when you first install it navigraph hub so all these will be saying install install all these install your arc cycle the, the sorry yeah, Air, eric cycle the avionics plugin for the g1000 g3000 5000 and if you want the in-games panel install that as well you do have options if you own add-on aircraft like the 146 and pmdg series you can install them as well but these four are the most important for pc users install them on your navigraph hub once you've downloaded it and once you've done that you are pretty much set to go you've got your charts downloaded if you're on xbox you've got your hub downloaded if you're on pc let me now take you to microsoft flight sim and show you navigraph charts in operation in the sim now i'm set up at leeds bradford airport in the vision jet which is available for both xbox and pc C xbox and pc it's an excellent aircraft to showcase what i'm going to show you now for your next steps so there's the aircraft loaded get inside the aircraft i'm down on one of my g3000 my rightmost one because i've got this screen just above me which i'll be utilizing as well you'll start on the pfd homepage. 
click next to MFD here. The button next to MFD, you get to that homepage. And I want to click on the charts because I want to show my Navigraph charts. If I click on that, you're going to see my charts are open. If this is your first time using it, you won't see this. I'm going to put an image on screen. This is actually a screenshot taken from the Navigraph Xbox, getting started with Xbox video, which I'll link down below in the description. Excellent one to watch that one for Xbox pilots. But what you'll see when you're first loading, if you've just taken out a Navigraph subscription, you'll see that screen. You've got a QR code to the right there, and you've got Navigraph.com code with a bespoke code for you for your own Navigraph. You could do this either way, probably the quickest way if you've got a smartphone, which many people have. Just take a screenshot of that QR code. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that now. Sign into your Navigraph account and away you go. You should have Navigraph charts activated for both Xbox or PC pilots. What I did is actually went to the Navigraph.com code on my web browser and just typed in that code it gave me. It was bespoke to me take that off screen once you've done that you should have your charts up and running now to make this full screen i'll put a video down below in the description where i did a flight in the vision jet using navigraph full flight so if you want to see that step by step what i did uh, but just make sure with this big knob here mouse up or down on it to make sure this right window is highlighted and just click on full and you can zoom in and out of that map, as you can see there. Let's just zoom out a bit. If we click on chart selection again, you've got things like airport charts. You've got a full range of charts at your perusal here. Well, at your convenient, for your convenience here. You've got arrival charts and approach charts, which I use quite a lot because I want to get that ILS frequency and course mode. Or course selection mode there. Or bearing to the runway, rather, would be an easier way of saying it. And all the interesting things. Do go and watch that video I've linked about my flight in the Vision Jet using Navigraph. Go through that in more detail. So there you go. That's how you get it up and running. On PC, you'll see a magenta aircraft icon. This is only for PC currently. So if I, let me just see. I'll just quickly do this for you. I'll just go to, oops. Let's concentrate on this Hudson. Let's just put the screen down to here and I'm just going to throttle up. Oh, the vision jet's going to look, but you'll see that icon, the aircraft icon moving uh, across the runway as my aircraft uh, moves on the runway as well. Do you see that? The icon's moving with the aircraft. Don't want to take off yet, so I'll just... Oh, there we go. Maybe braking would be a better idea, Hudson. So there you go. But that's only for PC uh, users. There is a way to see your aircraft moving. You get moving max with Xbox as well. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get up in the air and show you that part. So there you go. I'm up in the air in the Vision Jet heading towards Manchester, I believe, at the moment. I just did a quick route in the Microsoft Flight Sim world map from uh Leeds Bradford over to Birmingham via Manchester. Let's just jump into the sim, into the aircraft rather, on my right G3000 once again. Now on PC, to show you moving maps, all you need to download is that sim link which I showed you before on one of the earlier steps. If you do that, I'm just going to show you on the moving maps here. There you go, from Leeds Bradford over to Manchester. You can see my aircraft, aircraft icon moving towards Manchester and then it will follow go down to, to Birmingham all I did here was click on Leeds Bradford add it to route as origin added Birmingham as the destination and EGCC as a fix I'll link a video about advanced things you can do with Navigraph and this is one of them but I did just created my flight plan there although that's not too advanced in itself so that's how you would do it on PC. Let's get back in the sim. If you're on Xbox, what you want to do is go to your MFD homepage here. Go to Utilities. So MFD, make sure you're on the homepage. Go to Utilities and then go to Setup from the Utilities menu here. So this is for Xbox. Under Setup, once you get here, go to Navigraph Settings. Shall I show you that again? Just 
some people are very new to this. So MFD homepage, go to utilities, set up and Navigraph settings from here. From here, you want to click on the sim brief, sorry, sim link tab. So sim link tab. I'm on PC, so it's not going to show this, but I'll show you an image from the excellent Navigraph video. What you'll see here, you can either have Simlink on or off for Xbox. So just turn it on. And whatever device you're using, once you have that on and you're on Xbox, if you're on things like the an PC or laptop browser, you can see here now, you should have the same thing. You should see your aircraft icon moving across the map. You can have this on your tablet as well. So there you go, you should have the same thing. Tell you what my friends, that's all I'm going to go through, that's how you would get Navigraph up and running. Let's go back, let's go to the home page, go back to chart selection, and we can go to approach, you can type in here by the way. So if I'm heading towards, I'll just show you one more thing, if I'm heading towards Manchester, I'm thinking I want to land at Manchester. I can type in EG, oh let's go back, I went through that pretty quickly didn't I? So, on the home page, I'm just on the chart selection tab here. Click on where it's got EGBB. That's where I've just, well, that's heading toward Birmingham, isn't it? But I want to see what Manchester's showing. Maybe I'll do a quick landing at Manchester. Click in this box here. You can do this on Xbox and PC. Type in EGCC for Manchester, for example. It should come up Manchester. Enter. I can go to something like the approach tab at Manchester and go to one of the ILS landings here and I can get things like the ILS frequency and course mode for this specific runway. So there you go. That's all I'm going to go over. Those are your first steps getting started with Navigraph and getting it installed in one of your aircraft. I do hope this has been useful. Go and look at the Navigraph videos as well. They do their own excellent videos. I think that's Manchester coming up, isn't it? There you go, I'll probably do a quick landing here. Let me know your thoughts on the video, give it a like if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon.